Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here. Welcome back to the UEFA Euro 2012 runs. And today we're going to be doing a run with the Faroe Islands. Nobody requested them on this game. I'm just doing them because I felt like it. And um, yeah, this will probably be a very small run. But at least it'll be kind of fun to play as the 2012 Faroe Islands. Well, I hope it is anyway. We haven't done much about the Faroe Islands for a little while now. So I figured it's time to just update it a little bit and see how we get on. So, you know the drill. We randomise the teams in every single group. And um, I positioned myself differently this time. I put myself into Group C. But if we move, then I guess that's what the game wants. So, Poland replaced with Israel. Greece replaced with Luxembourg, Russia, Estonia, Czech Republic, Hungary, Netherlands, Norway, Denmark, Northern Ireland, Germany, Andorra, Portugal, Austria. Okay, we don't replace me. Uh, Italy, France, <laughs> Ireland, Georgia, Croatia, Lithuania, Ukraine, Greece, Sweden, Malta, Italy, Ireland, England, Lithuania, oh my goodness, it had to move the two biggest teams in this tournament into my group, it had to do it didn't it? Here we go then, the Faroe Islands run starts off against France and I can tell you right now this is definitely going to be a group stage finish, if I get out this group then that will be insane, especially on this DLC because this DLC is one of the harder ones that I have played in quite a while. So, yeah, the Faroe Islands, barely any chance. We might be able to pick up points against Georgia, maybe, but you never know. This run might not be a good one, but, hey, we have to do everybody, and I decided today to be the Faroe Islands, so I hope you guys enjoy it, even if I get smashed, and I'm sure that a lot of people enjoy watching me get it destroyed on FIFA anyway, so yeah, today's your lucky day. The key in this run is to... When we get possession, just keep it as long as possible. We don't want France to have too much possession. But here comes Benzema down the wing. What can he do? He's crossed it in. It's literally gone straight to the French player there, Nasri. And he's just going to speed round my defence, isn't he? Come on, Faroe Islands. You can do it. That's a good ball and it's offside, thankfully. Don't be surprised if I don't score any goals. I think the main goal in this run is to get a goal. That's a through ball. Here comes Frank Ribery. And it's tackled, but here we go. Oh, it's gone in and Florent Maludo has scored to make it 1-0. Well, I tried. It took 27 minutes, but France have scored. And I thought I got in front of him, but no. And it just goes bottom corner. That's 1-0 to France. What a really horrible group this is. Benzema. Twisting and turning into the box. And it just goes wide from France. Just damage control, really. I doubt we're going to do anything in this one. We have tried to go through, but barely anything. No header. Just blast it. No. <laughs> you can see my desperation. I know this is not going to be a good run. And it's probably not worth your time. But at halftime, it is 1-0 to France. And I'm looking for an upset here. I really am. Ribery on the ball. He crosses that in, headed away, and um, I'm surprised. Oh, come on. I was about to say, I'm surprised that wasn't a pen. And I went to clear it, but oh, that's so annoying, man. Okay, Benzema, what you got? What you got for me? What you got, dude? Oh, okay. I'll take that. Through ball. Oh, come on. Header. Okay. It's promising. It's very promising right now. Uh-oh. Here we go. Twisting and turning. Up to you. <gasps> yes! Come on! Joel Simeon Edvinson has scored to make it 1-1. Come on! Come on! Out of nothing. Out of absolutely nothing, the Faroe Islands have scored. And that's 1-1. Look at this. Just went to him and he just taps it in. Yes, come on. Come on. Against France, I would take this. Absolutely take this. 88th minute. France are pushing. It's cut out. I gave it straight back to him. Over the top here. Ribery's going through. Go away. Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you for stopping the own goal. Just boot it away. I'll take the 1-1. One, one. 
I'll take the 1-1. One, one. Absolutely. Any day of the week, I will take 1-1 one, one on this DLC with the Faroe Islands. I will. Absolutely. What a result that is for the first game. Gives me a little bit of hope. Second match of the group is against Georgia. So if we're drawing against France, then maybe, just maybe, we might be able to pull it off here against Georgia. But if we lose, then it's pretty much all over. Look at the group there. England are top. Faroe Islands are actually second. Georgia are third. And France are bottom with two games played. So you never know. <laughs> we might be able to do it here. Into the box. Georgia did not react to that throw at all. They just let that happen. Bit of a dead half, to be honest. <laughs> Bit of a dead half. I'm playing so cautiously with the ball. I literally have to move the ball around up the pitch like in micro passes just to get anywhere near um, Georgia's goal. Go on. Oh, look at this play. This could be it. It is it. Joel Simeon Edvinson again has scored for the Faroe Islands to make it 1-0 before half time. Come on. Come on, Faroe Islands. We could do this. We could legit go through if we win this match. Great play, by the way. Great play to open up their defence and slot it in to make it 1-0. Come on. Can we tackle them? Oh, my goodness. They go down in the box from that tackle. And that's another penalty. Another one. Like, two in two games. Okay, Georgia, what you got? Are you going to equalise? Let's have a look and see. Oh no, they blaze it over the bar again. Wow, another penalty missed. And as we go into half time, it is 1-0 to the Faroe Islands. Two penalties missed in two games. Wow. I think the reason is that the Faroe Islands keeper is obviously so intimidating that people are just missing the penalties against him. Such an awkward side to use. Oh, blocked. They're just so slow, these smaller teams on this DLC. It's not like, you know, the World Cup ones where they can actually have a little bit of pace sometimes. <laughs> on this game, they're just incredibly slow. Literally the last minute. Come on. Keep them out. Keep Georgia out. Just just get rid of it, Faroe Islands. This should be it. Yes. Come on. <laughs> We've got four points in this group. Four points. We squeezed the 1-0 out of Georgia I mean like I said at the start there was potential to take points away from Georgia and we've done it but we've also done it against France as well so we've got four points we're probably just on the edge of either getting eliminated or qualifying into the next round so checking out the groups then just before we head into the final game some of the groups have been completed Hungary and Israel go through to the knockouts in group B we have Norway and Austria going through Northern Ireland missing out on goal difference by a single goal as well that's insane um then in our group we have England and the Faroe Islands looking set to go through France and Georgia it depends on those games our goal difference is quite low um, at the moment so yeah if France like batter Georgia then it's over for us if we lose against England and in the final group Republic of Ireland have already gone through is either down to Greece or Lithuania to go through this may be the final match for the Faroe Islands entirely if we don't win this one against England um, but if we win or draw if big if then we'll go through to the knockouts and that will be easily the best one of my best runs with a small team that would be easily one of my best runs with a small team on this dlc remember this dlc can be very very unforgiving and quite difficult at times but i think we've done well here with the faroe islands see what you need to do with teams like the faroe islands is just pass the ball around so much that it just sucks the life out of the game and i know i hate it when teams do that to me but I have to do it in this situation. Here comes Ashley Young. Uh, him and Welbeck are going through here. And it's blocked, thankfully. Go on, through ball. Oh my goodness. It's that man again. It's Joel Simeon Edvinson. Obviously one of the best strikers in the world at this point. He's probably not even real. Probably not, knowing this DLC. But he scored. Look at that. Like, Gerard completely messed up, and there was a massive gap there. I was able to turn and shoot, and that's 1-0 to the Faroes against England. Through ball to Glenn Johnson. Of course, he's going to outpace me here because he's just too quick. 
Glenn Johnson into the box and tapped in by Steven Gerrard. He made up for his error against us just a second ago. And that's 1-1. Well, that was so easy for England. So effortless from England. And that is 1-1. But still in a good position. We scored a goal and we're still drawing. So, yeah. Glenn Johnson over the top here. What a ball. And, um, oh, come on. Thank you. No, it's still got it. Better not be a penalty. Thank you. <laughs> so, all these players keep falling over in the box. And I'm just like, no, please, no pen. And that's another good ball. Stuart Downing over the bar. He should have done way better with that. It's a corner to England, 71st minute. Young to cross it in. Header just dribbles to the goalkeeper there, thankfully. And um, England have had way more possession in this half and I'd say more chances, but the Faroe Islands still holding on here, still soldiering on. Go on, go for the strike. This should be game over now. We've wasted enough time, surely. I can't believe that we just got out this group with the Faroe Islands. Well, I think so. I mean, I, it's a bit of reserve celebrations, but I think I've done it. Let's see if I've gone through. Um, it depends on this match, France versus Georgia, I guess. Um, what happened in this one? Assimilating. 1-0 to France. Okay, good thing that we did, did draw then, because on the right-hand side, you can see me and England have got five points each. And that means that we'll be playing uh, Republic of Ireland. Our route to the final here isn't that bad. It really isn't that bad at all. It's going to be Ireland, then Norway, then whoever gets to the final. But to get out of that group with the Faroe Islands is really, really special. And I just want to remind you as well that this is on world class as well. So, you know, it's I mean, it's not the hardest difficulty in the world. But still, with a one-star team or even half-star team... Come on, Faroe Islands, come on. Your first time in a knockout tournament and um, you're here at the knockouts. So what can you do against Republic of Ireland? Twisting and turning here, getting past and good save. I thought that was going to go in, but wow, this striker that we have is just somehow a bit of a beast. He's like, yeah, get off me, Richard Dunn, and nearly scores. Up to you. Go on, go for the strike again. Off the bar. Go on. Oh my goodness, how did that not go in? Oh, all you had to do was just header it in. This guy up top, honestly, like, he's better than Haaland. Easy. I can't believe we didn't score that, though. Crossed in. And, oh my goodness, that counts as a goal for the corner taker. What is going on in this game? Oh, I was thinking it was an own goal. It, no, no, it, it counted as a uh, hose goal. Uh, what, what on earth's going on? <laughs> What's going on? It's 1 0 to the Pharaohs. To you. Go on. Oh, go on. Oh my god. This is insane. This guy's got a brace in the first 21 minutes. <laughs> oh my god. This game. I don't know how the Pharaohs have become so good. But they have. And that's 2-0. I'm starting to believe. Edvinson. He's like, yeah, I'm a beast. Like, I just run past everybody somehow. What are Ireland doing here? What are they actually doing? That's got to be a pen. No? Okay. Our oh, through ball. Here come Ireland. I can't select the right player. And they put it in finally. It's Robbie Keane with a goal. And that is 2-1 before half time. And, um, yeah, well, it's bound to happen. Half time and the Faroe Islands are leading by two goals to one. This has been an insane half. There's been lots of moments in it. I think this game is starting to come alive for the Faroe Islands. Corner to Ireland, 56 minutes played. It's crossed in. It's headed all oh, over the bar there from Ireland. They've had chances, but only one of them has gone in. They need another one to... Rescue this game. Oh no, what the hell was that? Of course, I deserved that, 100%. I was like, I just passed out from the back and I didn't even realise that Keane was standing there. Just gave him that goal and that's 2-2. And what a chip as well that was, by the way. Look, he was just like, yep, see you later, Tobaloko. What a chip. And that is 2-2 now. Entirely my fault, that one. If we lose this game, then I'm going to have egg on my face for sure. 
Go on. Oh my god, what a shot and what a save as well by the keeper. It's a corner to the Faroe Islands. Crossed in. Header. Oh, it's gone in. Yes, come on. And that's 3 2. Ger Aki Gerdsen has scored to make it 3 2. What a game. What a game. They have a corner. 84th minute. They're looking for this equaliser. Crossed in. It's headed back into the box. No. Oh, no. It's 3 3. Kevin Doyle has scored. This is an insane quarter final here. Ireland and the Faroe Islands producing a classic. Look at that. I didn't even have time to react. And that is 3 3. Wow. I mean, whoever wins this game. Hats off to both these teams, to be fair, to me and to Ireland as well. This has been a hell of a match. Walters, Ward, oh no, come on, get a defender. Oh my goodness, that was so close. That could have been 4-3 and it's full time. What a game we have at the moment. There's still extra time to do and this has been incredible from the Faroes and Republic of Ireland as well. It might be going to penalties here, to be honest. And I think that might be the ending the game deserves, maybe. I would have loved a 4-3 somewhere in this uh, this one. But no, it's going straight to pens. And, um, well, it's down to a lottery now. Who will win in the penalty shootout? Alright, Ireland to take their first penalty. Here we go. Keane, he stutters, and he puts it in. That's 1-0 to Ireland. Okay. Right. My turn now with Robertson. And it's in the yellow. I don't know how that's going to impact it. Not too bad. Okay. Cool. Let's go. 1-1. One, one. McGeady. What can he do in this one? McGeady. He puts it in. Decent penalty. All right. Now the Faroe Islands. Second pen. Is this guy... The legend at the moment in this tournament. And he becomes even more of a legend with that penalty. It's 2-2 on penalties. Doyle. What can he do? And he goes to the same spot as the rest of them have done. 3-2. Okay. Bertelsen. Or Be Bertelsen. Or whatever his name is. <laughs> he scores the penalty anyway. It's 3-3. Okay. Walters now. What can he do? Yes, I saved it. They keep going the same way. Like, why are they doing that? Okay. Ho. It's in the yellow. And it's gone in. Nice. Is that going to be it? No, not yet. Okay. One more penalty. Come on. Come on, Pharaohs. It's Gibson. Gibson to take it. Go. Oh, they went down the same way again. I should have just went that way. Okay. Farrah Islands now. What can they do? Olsen. Oh, damn it. Go on. Yes, it still went in anyway. And the Farrah Islands are going to the semis after our epic game. 3-3 and then 5-4 uh, on penalties, I think. Brilliant. What a result. The Farrah Islands are going to the semi-finals. So we got Norway in the semi-finals and um, whoever wins that one will either be against Austria or England. Here we go then. Norway versus the Faroe Islands in this one. <laughs> what can we do here? I hope we can beat them. This is a very good chance to get to the final. And obviously the Faroe Islands have been so good in this run. Beating Ireland on penalties. Here come Norway. Again, the first clip, he crosses that one in. And they're giving me real problems in the first 20 minutes. Not going to lie. They're just all over me. Through ball. Norway here with Husklep. He's just turned me there. And that's a goal. Why did we not clear it? Elia Nusi has scored to make it 1-0 just before half time. The guy in the middle here, number four, he failed to like sort of get it. And it didn't actually clear it that well. Alright, well, Norway kind of deserved that, to be fair, because they've been all over us. Half-time, 1-0 down. There's a lot of work to do, and there's only 45 minutes left to do it. Go on. Ah, oh, just couldn't shoot in time. Norway have been really good. Um, I knew that we would, we would meet our match eventually, because the Ireland game, every time I scored, Ireland would score against me. 
And it's just been one of those things. Oh, come on. Okay, well, that's 2-0. And that's 100% game over. Basically, I went to tackle him. And it just knocked the ball in front of him. Like, look at this. Look. See? I tackled him, but it knocked the ball straight into place for him. So lucky. Through ball. Oh, here we go again. It's this dude. Oh, ref. I got in front of him. That's not a pen. Oh, that's going to be run over now, isn't it? The run is pretty much over. If they score this penalty, it will 100% be over. That's sad, man. That's really sad. I mean, I know he got injured from the tackle, but still. I saved it, but come on, get up. Oh, okay. Well, he just couldn't be bothered to get up, even though he saved the penalty. And that is 3-0. Oh, hang on. Oh, come on. Really, Norway? They even tried to give me a goal. And I still couldn't take it. And sadly, that is going to be the end of our run with the Faroe Islands. I thought that it was going to be a little tiny 10-minute run. But no, it's actually turned into a brilliant semi-final run. Well, unfortunately, we lost 3-0 here in the semi-final. But, you know, that's still very impressive. And I'm really proud of the Faroe Islands for getting this far. So in the final, England beat Norway by three goals to one. And that is the end of your tournament with the Faroe Islands. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this run with the Faroe Islands. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always. And I'll see you again for the next video.